In this tutorial, we will learn to record and create macros in ImageJ software. Launch the ImageJ software. Recording a macro would be done by clicking on Plugins, Macros, and Record. For demonstration, let us use this image and record the steps to count the number of DAPI stain cells. To initiate recording the macro, click on Plugins, Macros, and Record. In this recorder dialog box, all the steps performed from now on will be recorded. The first step to count the number of DAPI is to convert the image into an 8-bit image. As it can be seen, this step has been recorded in the recorder dialog box. The next step is to adjust the threshold level according to the type of image. Once the threshold level is adjusted, click Set and OK. This step has also been recorded with a threshold level that was set earlier. The threshold window can be closed safely. The next step is to convert the image into black foreground with a white background. In addition, convert the image into mask. For counting the individual cells, the watershed option has to be applied. Now, the clump cells has been converted into individual cells. To perform the final count, click on Analyze and Analyze Particles. Set the size in pixel square according to the type of image. The circularity can be kept in its default state. In the Show option, one can select either Mask or Outlines. Once all the parameters are set, click OK. The output is the image with outlines of the counted DAPI stain cells. The number of DAPI stain cells is 18 in number. Now, the steps that has been recorded is ready to be converted into a macro. Click on Create and save the macro. Now, select File, Save As, rename the macro with the extension .ijm and save. This dialog box can be closed safely. The macro is ready to be used. To use this macro, either drag and drop into image J or it can be installed. A video tutorial on plugins and macro installation is also available. The link to this video is in the description below. Open the image of your interest in image J. To perform the analysis using this macro, simply click run and the entire steps will be executed. The output is similar to the previously counted DAPI stain cells. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more such videos.